What's up guys, how do you do? Welcome to today's edition of Programming with Us TV. In this class, we are going to look at a chip view, okay? So with the chip view, as you can see right here, we're able to select chips or tags and then just by type, by clicking them. And then of course you can see we have them added right here, okay? So you can, it's actually a searchable chip view. So you can basically search stuff and then of course add them, okay? So basically this chip view is a combination of various widgets as you can see we have our list view we also have um of course it's a list view with check boxes and then you also have a search view right here and also custom views we uh, of course we can also remove these particular chips once we've added them so this is in the portrait mode we can also have it of course in the landscape mode and of course here we have our landscape mode we can still go ahead and then search and add them okay or we can just come add them by clicking so this is it guys this is what we're going to look at so let's get started so first and foremost you have to come right here and then of course apply the application name so you type the application name okay the name of your app then your company domain which of course needs to be unique from other domains then of course you specify your project location so of course add the project location right there then of course we're going to work with java so we come right here we choose our minimum sdk you are going to go with api 1500 liter which as you can see supports approximately 100 percent devices then we have some templates where i'm going to choose the empty activity then of course we click next then right here as you can see we have several we have of course this is going to generate for us our main activity and then activity main.xml now our main activity is going to be backwards compatible meaning that it will derive from the app compat activity okay to support all of uh, devices so do that one and then click finish so that we proceed on okay so with our project ready right here you can see our project structure now we have right here first we start with the gradle scripts of course normally we have these two build gradle files one is the project level meaning that is located in our project folder okay our root folder so go over to the project level or the root level build gradle and then of course we need to specify this particular uh, maven repository right here okay hey, jetpack.io so url is jetpack.io so come right here make sure you register it why well because the library we're going to use the third party library we're going to use is going to be of course has m right here the jetpack.io as its dependence as its repository okay of course the google and j center have already been added by android studio and those of course are the default repositories for android for android studio so go ahead at jetpack right here having added it then come over to your builder cradle the app level okay we said our minimum sdk version in this case is api level 15 then right here we are going to add uh of course android studio has added for you the app compact so all we're going to do is to add the chip view okay now as you're adding the chip view we're going to exclude the support v4 okay because this library support v4 it is already been defined of course uh in the chip view library now sometimes if you really don't include it of course then your application i noticed that my application was crashing okay with this particular error right here okay that program type already present okay this uh, backstack record so please go add it right here to avoid your application crashing at runtime we're just excluding this particular module the support v4 so please do that one then of course click sync to synchronize your project now once we've done that one then we come right here of course to our resources our first and resource of course is our activity main now inside the activity main we're going to add our chip view well chip view of course is a custom element which we are going to use to display our chips it basically comprises of um of course just a list view a searchable list view 
at least with the search bar and of course if you click items they get rendered as as chips or as tags okay so this is very important especially if you want to use it for tagging so go add it right there then of course once you've done that one then of course we move over to a java code now probably main activity has already been generated for you by android studio now we're going to add two imports three imports in fact okay right here we'll have of course the chip view we also have our simple chip adapter which is of course the adapter for our chip view then we'll of course have an array list which is going to act as our data source now in this case we're going to come and then make this activity derive from the app compat activity then having done that one we're going to have a chip view as our instance field then we're going to have a simple, simple method called populate tags populate tags is going to first we're going to define our tags which is basically an array list right here we instantiate it then we add of course those particular tags in this case database data binding widgets recycle of activity services networking so say that these are our tags then we just come right here in our main activity okay before main activity we're going to instantiate our simple chip adapter which is going basically uh, going to is our adapter okay it will adapt this particular data of course to our views then we come right here and then we set adapter then chip view let's set adapter adapter okay then having done that one we're going to listen to the on create callback now this method will get traced when our activity has been created we'll receive a bundle object which of course we can use to store the application state see uh with when of course we change the configuration of our app we can use it to store the activity state now set content view will inflate for us the activity main.xml and set it of course as the content view for our activity then we come right here we're going to find by id our chip view we reference it from our layout then once we have it of course yeah we'll use it to set its adapter now we'll just call this date populate tags okay it will populate that um chip view of course with our data and that's it that's all we need to do right there so please do that one then of course click run to run the project i showed you the demo while we were starting so just make sure that you like the video share it and also find the source code in our website okay if you have any question also you can actually leave a comment down below Otherwise, take care. I'll catch you in the next class.